and welcome to the Simutech Tips and Tricks video where I'll be talking about how to install LS Prepost. So when you install ANSYS, LS Prepost installation files are included, but LS Prepost isn't installed on its own. So to do that, you can go to the C drive or wherever you installed ANSYS. The default is going to be C program files ANSYS Inc. Once you're in the ANSYS installation directory, you can go to the version you have installed. You can see I have a few installed here. And then we want to go into the ANSYS folder, bin, WinX64, and scroll down to the L section here. And you can see LS prepost 4.5 setup.exe. I'm going to take that and run it as an administrator. Then you'll just need to read the license agreement, select a installation directory, and select where you want the program icons to appear, and click install. And this just takes about a minute to install here. All right, then you can decide if you want to launch it at the end. So that's the whole installation here. Once you have it installed, that's going to be located, by default at least, under LSTC. You can see I have two versions installed, the 4.5 that we just installed, and also version 4.7. There are multiple versions available on LSTC's website. So if you go to the LS Prepost page, and then LS Prepost download, you can see there's a few different versions that you can download here. If I open up the LS Prepost 4.5, so one thing that I always change in LS Prepost is this view option, toolbar, and by default you'll see the right toolbar and the bottom toolbar just have icons. I find it a lot easier to navigate with the text and icon option. So I changed that for both of these. And you can see now there's a little label next to all these different buttons. That'll persist as you close and open Melis Prepost. You can also download the help. By default, the help isn't installed with the program. If you want to download it, you can say download by LS Prepost. Click download. Now you may have to restart LS Prepost as an administrator. If you get this message, the document file has no write authentication in local directory, that means you need to run LS Prepost as an administrator. And then you can download the help there. So here, now that I'm running as an administrator, I can go to documentation, say download. And once it's downloaded, you can just go to help documentation. And that'll bring up the manual here. You can do something similar for the tutorial. That'll be another download here. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for tuning in.